Today's video is gonna be interesting. We're gonna learn how to make a 3D hologram projection of yourself in Final Cut Pro. Holograms seemed to be really popular a few years ago and then fizzled out. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think it might be because all I've ever seen are butterflies and jellyfishes. Jellyfish? Jellyfishes? I want to make a 3D hologram of myself for three reasons. The first is to document my hair growth as it gets longer. The second is to document my physical transformation in a fun way. And the third is so that I can send cool messages to other people that have made one of these themselves. Sweetie, I know we're already engaged, but would you do me the honor of applying my beard bomb? So today's mission is to construct a 3D projector, record a video, edit it, all while documenting the process, CD case first. This one will do. Now you need to create a template out of paper. Use the dimensions on the screen. Cut, trace, and glue or tape it together. Ideally, in this situation, you'd use Gorilla Glue to fasten all four pieces together with minimal overflow. But since I don't have any right now, I'm gonna have to do the poor man method and just use a little bit of tape. A useful tip is to use a small fine liner Sharpie marker, as well as a sticky note for your template so that you can actually stick it to the plastic and it doesn't move around on you. Okay, good, we've been successful so far. We've got butterflies and jellyfish. Now onto uncharted territory. You're gonna need a green screen. Any size will do, but if you want a full body shot, you're gonna need a big one. Next, record yourself saying or doing something dumb. The dumb part is obviously optional. Now take that footage that you just filmed and load it into Final Cut Pro. Since you own Final Cut, I'm going to assume that you are reasonably confident using it. So start a new project with square dimensions. I'm gonna try 1080 by 1080. Now load the clip into the timeline, resize it. Some cropping may be necessary so that all you have behind you is green. Drop a keyer on there. Use the adjustment tools if necessary. Now copy and paste this image on top of itself. Again, resize it and adjust the placements so that it sits vertically. Repeat the steps two more times. Now I'm just gonna eyeball the placement and see how it works. If you wanna get really precise, you can download a grid PNG file so that it's exact, but I'm not too worried about that. Now I'm gonna export it, upload it, and play it. Well, thanks for watching my video. Please share it, like it, and subscribe for more. If you're interested in picking up one of my t-shirts, I've got the Project Year 365 and the Project Full Name. I also sell a variety of drawing prompt books and a beard coloring book. Links are in the description.